Tableau version 8 will provide native connectivity to Google BigQuery. This will enable anyone to analyze massive amounts of data stored in Google's cloud using simple drag and drop operations. Now recently I was using the samples in BigQuery and I thought it would be fun to show you some of the new visualizations that you can do in Tableau version 8 with data stored in BigQuery. So let's go ahead and connect to BigQuery. Here's a new native connector to Google BigQuery. When we click on that, you get the OAuth screen provided by Google and you provide your credentials. And then just sign in. Now when you provide access, Tableau will connect to BigQuery and get the list of data sets that are available in the various tables. Now in this case, we'll just use the Shakespeare data set, uh, which provides uh, data on all of the words uh, that Shakespeare ever published. So now we're in Tableau, you can see, uh, if we double click on the word count, we'll see how many words have been published uh, in, across all the various publications, and there's in, uh, close to a million uh, rows in that data set. Now let's just filter this by one of the publications, and we'll say Hamlet. We'll choose Hamlet, press OK. And now you can see that we have 32,000 words in Hamlet. Now to make this more interesting, I'm just going to click on Word and then choose one of the new visualizations in Tableau 8, which is the tree map. When I click on the tree map, you can see that we've generated a tree map of all of the words where the size and the color represents the word cloud, the word count. And you can see clearly that the and and uh, has been used quite a bit. But we can filter this down a little bit more. Let's just turn on a quick filter so that we remove maybe some of these smaller words. So let's go and take the words that were never used. Let's just remove those. You can see how fast that is. And we can keep the big words in, or we can remove them. We'll just keep them in, in this case. Now, this is a nice way of representing, representing that data. But what, since we're talking about words, a better way of looking at this might be through a word cloud. So one click, we've generated a word cloud. You can see now uh, that Hamlet and the and and is used uh, quite a bit in uh, Hamlet, not surprisingly. Now let's actually add in another data set and let's go and add Romeo and Juliet. And there you go, we'll press OK. And now the view, the view will contain the combination of the words in Hamlet as well as Romeo and Juliet. You can see that Hamlet is used more often than Romeo. And we can break this down by corpus. We'll drag that or double click. And you can see now the breakdown between Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. So I thought that was just a fun way of showing the power of BigQuery. Everything we analyzed here was live connected uh, in Google's cloud uh, in combination with the power of Tableau 8 and how Tableau can help you see and understand your data in new ways.